Hello, we're Team Uku from UC Davis. Uku is a mobile mask that monitors the O2 and CO2 in your respiration, as well as your activity levels, without the need for large tubes and equipment. Uku can be used anywhere. It can be used outside while running, or it can even be used inside of a doctor's office simply going up the stairs. It is a perfect device for doctors to monitor their lung resection patients before and after their surgery. And it is the first of its kind. No respiration mask allows doctors to easily and quickly take CO2 and O2 respiration data as well as activity data. Uku was born as a research project for a doctor at UC Davis Medical Center. Dr. Brown would love to perform better preoperative risk assessment for her lung resection patients with the use and development of Uku. She finds current testing measures to be inconvenient and infeasible for many of her patients. Bluetooth Low Energy allows easy and mobile data collection during testing with Uku. Just open the Uku app, click to scan, connect, receive no notifications, and Uku will deliver all activity, CO2, and O2 data straight to your phone. You will also be able to see the live data updates directly on your phone through the Uku app as the CO2, O2, and activity levels change. Preoperative risk assessment as well as health assessment are both very vital to doctors and patients. With UKU, we hope to better and improve preoperative risk and health assessments to ensure that successful medical procedures happen in the future. This is the main board used in the UKU system. Starting off in the center of the board, you can see a large inductor. This inductor belongs to one of our two regulating circuits. This regulating circuit takes in 9 volts and steps it down to 5 volts using a switching regulator. These 5 volts are fed into the oxygen sensor. The PSOC, as well as our other two sensors, our CO2 sensor and accelerometer, require 3.3 volts. So above the 5 volt regulating circuit, we have a 3.3 volt regulating circuit. This circuit also takes in 9 volts and steps it down to 3.3 volts using a switching regulator. To the left of the board, you can see a large switch. This serves as an on and off switch for the entire board. To the right of that, you can see an LED. This is used to show the user when the phone has connected via Bluetooth to the mobile application. Below that, you can see the accelerometer and the passives that go along with it. The rest of the circuitry is used as connectors to external boards, such as the CO2 and O2 sensor boards. The system begins in the start state. It automatically moves into the searching state where no data is being transmitted. In the searching state, the PSOC initializes the gas sensors and accelerometer. The PSOC puts the oxygen and carbon dioxide sensors into polling mode, where the sensors output data only when receiving the request from PSOC. The accelerometer is initialized by the PSOC into 2G fast read mode. Once the phone and the PSOC are paired over BLE, the system moves into the active state. The respiration and activity data are both read by the PSOC and displayed on the phone application in the active state. Once the phone application and the PSOC disconnect, the system moves back into the searching state.